90%, 99% of CVs are, are not up to scratch. They're not up to the level. And this is costing many professionals tons of opportunities throughout their career. It's costing them opportunities that could make them happier with a better manager, better environment, better company culture. In short, the CV is the first thing that an employer sees. And you know what? If the CV is not right, they're not going to give you a call. They're going to give a phone call to someone else that perhaps is less expert, is, is not as good as you. So the next CV that I want to speak to you about is a CV that was sent by someone called Celia. And thank you so much once again, Celia, uh, for sending your CV because hopefully it's going to help uh, others as well. So the first thing I noticed is that, you know, you mentioned under apparently, so the the latest uh, job experience is something that looks like it's your own business. You put here that you're an owner, sales executive and owner, okay? And that's fine, by the way. But then you, you say French legal status, auto-entrepreneur. Why would that be relevant to, why would that be relevant at all? It's not something that's relevant. Unless you, I, I don't know actually, how would that be relevant? Remember, you only have, let's say, a window of seven seconds to impress the recruiter and convince him to read again your CV in a more detail, with, with more details. Another element is that if you're looking for work and you're an entrepreneur, now there's different schools of, school of thoughts, but I would hide the fact that I was an entrepreneur purely because you know, entrepreneurs, they're not understood correctly by recruiters. They're sometimes, you know, feared. He's an entrepreneur. He used to have his own business. Uh, he used to have his own staff. He used to recruit himself. He used to do everything himself. So, you know, how easy is it to manage people like this? Now, as a recruiter or an employer, I'm thinking like this. I'm not saying this is your case, Cillian. I'm just thinking that immediately when you put entrepreneur, it doesn't add any value unless you're actually working to serve clients that are themselves entrepreneurs. So if you work for FreeZone, for example, as a business advisor uh, for small companies and you've been an entrepreneur yourself, then yeah, there's relevancy in, in today's. It's completely, completely relevant. But otherwise, no, it's not. It really isn't, okay? So another point here is that the issue of consistency, okay? So straight away, when we look at comparing your experience as an entrepreneur with your previous experience, which, uh, which, which was as a legal assistant in a law firm, then straight away, we, it's no longer consistent with your career. The message or the fear, the worry, the anxiety that immediately is created on the mind of a recruiter or an employer is, whoa, she's changing completely. I mean, someone that studies legal, work in legal, establish a business in legal, consistent. But someone that works in legal, then establishes a business in something that has nothing to do in retail, suddenly I'm confused. Does she actually like legal? It looks like she doesn't like legal anymore. So if you're applying to legal jobs, I would be very careful. So the way, there's, there's a way to actually do this, Celia, is to actually make sure that your last experience includes a lot of legal work. Includes a lot of legal work. Have you drafted contracts for this, for your company? You know, employee contract, um, supplier contracts, commercial contracts, etc., etc. Have you done that? If you have, then this is where you're going to perhaps not mention that you're an entrepreneur or business owner or a sales executive, but I would say you've been head of legal for your own business. Now, you shouldn't say that it's your own business, but you've been head of legal for this company or freelancing for this company. All of this is real and is true. The fact that you work in your business, choose the different jobs that you've among the different jobs that you've done among the different tasks different duties that you've had to do choose the one that are relevant to get you a job in the field that you want don't just put sales executive 
conduct live shows. Now, be careful about the spelling mistakes here. Obviously, there's no S in live shows. Uh, managing photo shoots. Now, remember what we said about managing. We don't know exactly what it means. So it's got to be an action verb, action verb, action verb, okay? And there's really no proper results here. So we don't know exactly what you've been able to do. So if you rewrite your CV, especially the last experience, without mentioning that you're a business owner, but saying that you are a legal advisor for this company and that you've been drafting contracts of this sort, of this sort, and that thanks to you, you've been, I don't know, uh, saving the company time, money, or, or, but you know, basically starting to actually show some results, you might have a chance. Plus, it becomes consistent. I hope it makes sense. I really hope it makes sense, Celia. Uh, the, look, there's a difference between a great CV and a poor CV, not in the way it looks, but it's the content. It's like junk food. You see, junk food looks good, smells good, you, you know, all the goods, but it's junk. It's not good. Okay. Make sure your CV is not junk food. Okay. Spend the time, invest in your CV, review it review it, review it. If English is not your first language, make sure you get someone that's qualified to review your CV. It, it could make you a lot of money. It could bring you a lot of opportunities. It could put a smile on your face and get rid of this horrible manager that you might have or put you back to work because you've had a maternity leave and you're tired of staying at home now. It, it could change lives. So hopefully you will use this and that's it. I'm just going to let it go. Let you go now. Uh, thank you so, so much once again and um, all the very best. I will see you next week for another live session. Take care. Bye bye.